Hi guys. So we're gonna be doing something very different today, and that is an empty house tour. So yeah, I guess we just get into it. Get into it. Yeah. We are in the front entryway at this moment. You hear a lot of tippy tappies. We got dogs in the house. So this is gonna be our office with cobweb included. The plan for this room is going to be that Jimmy and I, we usually like to share our offices together because he's a gamer, he likes to play computer games, and obviously I work all the time as you guys know, so as a way for us to kind of spend quality time together, we like to kind of share offices. You're not Jim, Jim's not Asian. You seriously never noticed? Hey. Hats off to you for not seeing race. We need to get the paint off of this floor because the previous owners did that. I'm really feeling like the grand millennial vibes. I know this house right now is gray because the previous owners were all about that Joanna Gaines farmhouse life, but we're thinking green, kind of the main color in the space. I wanna do wainscoting, but I'm torn between if I wanna take it into a mid-century modern appearance or if I wanna kind of do the William Morris arts and crafts thing. Jimmy likes mid-century modern, so we might do a bit more of a mid-century modern vibe in here. I smell poops. I smell poops. Did you poop or did you poop? I'm not seeing it. I think he just farted. So this is our living room. Um, this is probably one of the things that sold the house. Um, was that you? That's the view. It's real nice. It's very soothing. I'm really particular about light. I call myself a lizard because I thrive in the sun and I don't do well in dark, dark spaces. I do really well in very bright spaces. One of the things that I was super particular about when we were buying a house was how the house was oriented and how the windows were oriented. So in our previous house, the living room was actually southeast facing. So we always had gorgeous, warm light coming into the house. That's why I always filmed in, our, in my living room when we were doing like video essays and stuff. This house is a slightly different orientation, but these big windows are north facing. Um, and obviously we have double windows here. So even on dark days, it's actually really, really bright in the house. We saw a lot of really dark houses. Um, the housing market in Bloomington kind of sucks, guys. Our original plan for our home was to actually downsize a little bit because we felt like the house we had in Sparks was a little bit too big. But it turns out it wasn't actually too big for us. It just wasn't formatted in a way and laid out in a way that was really useful for us. So this house is actually a scotch bit bigger, um, but the layout is much better. So this is kind of like a casual dining space. Obviously we have the kitchen. I mean, it's the kitchen. I don't really know what to tell you guys. There's really nothing exciting about this other than like, oh look, it's a kitchen with white cabinets and dark granite. We have a dual, st we have a dual oven. This is very exciting for us. Um, so that way when Chrissy and Nicole infiltrate the house, um, Chrissy has two ovens to play with instead of just one. You could stop at five or six stores, or just one. And then this is just gonna be the dining room. <laughs> this thing's just like right in the way. <laughs> um, we're not very tall people. No. It's very low. So I'm thinking we're gonna do like some floral, almost chintz-like wallpaper with the wainscoting. So I kind of want, because the dining room and the office face each other, you can't really see into both, but they kind of face each other. So I kind of want to make sure that when people come into the space, if they look left or right, that it kind of cohesively makes sense. Um, but guys, I, I got to tell you, Hold my pool. when you move out of house, clean up after yourselves, because you never know when a YouTuber is going to shame you on the internet, right? And now we're going to go upstairs. Okay, so the upstairs need some work. This is, this was their boys room and it shows. <laughs> but we're just gonna turn this into a guest room. That's basically it. The sellers did that when they left. It was awesome. I loved it. Please don't let your kids put stickers on the wall or doors. This is the master. Um, I don't know, it's a 90s master guys. Like this is it. Uh, <laughs> It's kind of wacky how it's laid out. It. Yeah, like like we have these things here. Um, this is gonna be a great location for kennels. So that's probably where the dog's kennels are gonna go. Um, it only has one massive closet. So we're gonna have to split it. We'll see how this actually works. I don't know how, I don't know if this is gonna work. We might have to fix this later. So we get to share a closet, babe. Are you excited about that? I don't have that much stuff, so it'll be fine. You don't? You're going to literally like go over there in the corner. I'll be, yeah, I'll be in the back corner. This also uh, needs some work, but it has heated floors. But I'm going to fix it up as best as I can to kind of make it more cohesive because this is cream. Walls are 
cream. The cabinets are like a warm red color. The floor is a cool stone blue with some pink in it. It's a gray sort of glass tile that also features a sponsor of today's video. Hello. The sponsor of this week's video is Native. So Native makes body care products like deodorants, body washes, toothpaste. They've been a sponsor of this channel for a while now. I love Native deodorants. They actually have brand new plastic free packaging. The new plastic free packaging uses the same exact deodorant formula that they've always used, which as you guys know, I love, I'm a huge fan. One, it always smells really good. They have really great scent options, but it also does a really good job helping you feel like super fresh. That's better. Like, especially when you've been unpacking your house for days on end and it's been really hot and you don't really know how the air conditioning works and you're just kind of becoming a bit of a sweaty mess. Anyways, I'm digressing. And in fact, 92% of plastic free users actually really enjoy this new plastic free packaging option compared to the first version of their plastic free packaging. Native is also committed to sourcing the paper for their new pa plastic free packaging from responsibly managed forests. And as someone who now lives amongst the trees, I've always been big fan of trees that's a really good thing we love the trees we need to keep the trees we need to keep them safe native is also a part of one percent for the planet so one percent of all their plastic free sales is being donated to environmental nonprofits. so hooray the texture is great it's not sticky it goes on super dry it rubs in the skin really nice it's made out of really simple clear to understand ingredients they're listed right on the packaging in simple terms. There's none of these like overly complicated chemical names that like, you know, are five miles long. You also can get tons of different scents from Native. Last year I had one that was just like, it smelled like the beach, it smelled so good. And when it comes to the deodorants, not only do they smell amazing, but they're also aluminum free, paraben free, cruelty free, and vegan products too. So they're just good for everyone to use. So if you'd like to give Native deodorant a try, normally three plastic free deodorants cost $39, but if you go Go and follow the link in my description and use code abbycox2 you'll get them for 26 dollars so that is actually 33 percent off and also with my code you can get 20 percent off any body wash or toothpaste and like i said guys i and love the body wash and favorite. So with that, a huge thank you to Native for sponsoring this video and I'm going to get back to unpacking. Thanks again to Native for sponsoring this week's video. Now let's continue the tour. And then this is the final bedroom. So my long plan for this room guys is to actually kind of thematically make it the little women room. So I kind of want to decorate it like a little, like the set from Little Women 1994 because we don't talk about the one by Greta Gerwig. That one was garbage. Did I Stenciling and white and flowers and pretty and delicate and soft. Um, this one actually goes out to its own private deck. So I kind of really want this one to have a very calm, serene uh, feel to it. It's also separated from the other guest room and the master. So I really want this one to kind of be a little bit more of an oasis. And now it's time to show you guys my workspace. One of the issues that we had with our previous house that darling husband behind the camera was very fed up with is that because of how the house was set up, it was not really conducive to the work that I do. You know, when we bought that house, I had a normal nine to five, I had an office job, I had my sewing room because I sewed, but everything was gonna stay contained in that space. But when I started doing YouTube full time, the entire house basically became my office studio workspace. Tripods were set up in the living room, our dining table was covered in paperwork and computers and, and mail and boxes. You know, we had, I would like, my mom's bedroom had all of my antique clothes in it. Our bedroom was like the only place that never had work stuff in it. Everything was everywhere all the time. And so we really wanted a space that was a hard line to separate from living and work, um, not only for, cleanliness and like organization, but also for mental health, for my mental health, for his mental health, for the sake of our relationship. Please don't judge me too harshly for this, guys. Before I show you all the spaces, we're gonna go through, I'm gonna tell you guys what each room is gonna be, but we're gonna have a lot more like decorating videos on here and um, renovation videos because each space is gonna have to be its own thing. And right now they're basically blank slates. So this very like fantastic, like 90s carpet here, it's great. Um, we're having this pulled up 
and I'm actually going to be installing real linoleum floors. So they're click planks. So I've been interested in linoleum for a while. There's actually a really cool video by Vox about like the history of linoleum and like how the original stuff is actually really cool. Because of how small these rooms are, I have to divide everything up. So this room is going to be the cutting table and also my antique clothing storage space. So the table will fit in here. And then my plan is to put the antique clothes on shelves on the wall. So then that way they're up off the floor and they are protected. Um, it is basement space, but it is completely finished on the inside. As you guys can see, it's climate controlled down here as well. Well, there are no windows in any of these rooms, so it's very dark. So I'm having to learn a lot about lighting right now, which is something. Thank God for Gerald Undone. This room is similar to the other room, but just slightly different. This is actually gonna be the filming studio. So when we're talking about doing video essays or just kind of me sitting chatting with you guys, I'm gonna have it set up in this space. Then we're gonna just meander down the hallway. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my hallway. Hello, stained glass. Beautiful stained glass window. We don't know why it's in here, but it's here. We love it. I think it's great. This room I think is gonna actually be the sewing construction space. I'm having an electrician come in and I'm gonna have him install outlets in the ceiling. Crazy. So then that way I can add gravity fed uh, irons around spaces, but also so I can attach lights up here too. Pocket door, baby. Only one in the house. The only one in the house and it's, it's much beloved. Okay, are we gonna do this? Are we gonna show you guys this? Not set out with the intention of purchasing a home with Th this feature. Does anyone ever actually, is this ever like on someone's no, actual? Unless anyway. you're like buying a celebrity mansion. Yeah. This is probably the dumbest thing of all time. It's incredible. I have plans for this, um, but this is, we walked in and we saw this and we were just like, what is this? The theater, the theater. Hi, hi. This is a dog friendly movie theater. Uh, the carpet is my favorite part. We also- The rigid back seats. The velvet seats. I love this room. I consider it a period room. Um, I think that the Met Museum will appreciate it in probably about 50 years and I will be happy to let them take it from me by that point. Actually, I really wanna bring other YouTubers here and then I kinda wanna do like an interview sort of setup where we watch like their, their most viral video or like their first video and like we just kinda talk about talk about it and we're like watching it in this sort of more like grander space because you know, I wanna do something like that um, just kind of like a more interview and just kind of talk about your YouTube journey. I know it's not the normal kind of content I make, but I just kind of really like the idea of watching something that was created to be viewed on a computer screen or on a phone screen, um, on a big screen. Low key kind of want to do Mystery Science Theater 3000, but with a like, historical costume drama. Draw a storm. What the hell did I do that for? And with that guys, that is our empty house tour. I am really excited for all the decorating projects that are to come. Um, the nice thing about moving into a sort of modern, modern farmhouse style home is it's essentially a blank slate now. Uh, so it's a lot of fun to be had. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. And if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I have no idea if I did a good empty house video. Never done one of these before. It's very weird very odd. Um, Funding for this program was made possible from viewers like you.